Yeah, yeah, of course. Something wrong here. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another video from the Inspiration College. And as usual, guys, if you are new to this channel, then a big welcome to you. And if you are a regular visitor to the Inspiration College YouTube channel, then I welcome you back. And guys, as usual, if you like the content, let me just get it out of the way now and say that if you like this content, then you will share the content, guys. You will give the video a thumbs up. And guys, you will also uh, leave a comment. Now, guys, when you give the video a thumbs up, then what that will do, it will give YouTube, you know, all information that they need. That, you know, they need to show this video to more people. Uh, because, you know, the information is very useful. And as you can see on the screen, guys, what we are going to discuss, the first thing I'm going to discuss is... Uh, you know my YouTube earnings after monetization because as you know I was monetized uh, nearly six months ago so you know it makes sense to show you what the journey is like so far and uh, the second thing we are going to look at we are going to look at dream team making refunds difficult so I'm going to show you a comment that someone left under one of my videos and how you know probably they are deliberately making refunds difficult for you by not really giving you proper information as to where you can contact customer service for them to ask for a refund and it would not surprise me if they are deliberately doing this and number three we are going to look at uh you know energic annual global convention so they had this convention i think it was like july that's last month in las vegas in the usa so we are going to look at that and then number four, Enagic targeting Caribbean countries. <laughs> now, you know, they are spreading their wings. And I, I mean, I'm not sure. Further on in the video, we'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm not sure that they are going to be that successful in the Caribbean. Because, of course, you know, those expensive overpriced machines, uh, you know, Caribbean people are not going to uh, waste the money on that. And uh, the last one we are going to look at, which is a bonus, Enagic now producing soothing music guys so what they're actually saying is that even when you're trying to make a sale then you can be listening to to their music i mean these multi-level marketing companies they are so cultic in nature uh, you have to wonder so guys let us move straight to the video so now guys as you can actually see on the screen earnings on youtube so you know i was monetized uh, in march early march of this year and as you can see guys uh, you can see my earnings nothing to quit my nine to five over but at least i'm doing something honest and i'm not cheating or deceiving anyone i'm not scamming anyone i'm working honestly on this channel you know and to put information out there for people who need it to save them thousands upon thousands of dollars and as you can see guys in march i made three pounds in april 16 pounds then in May, 46 pounds. Then, you know, in June, 31 pounds. In July, 32 pounds. And now we are still in August. Um, and so far, I'm at 26 pounds. So, you know, all I need to do is to scale this. And, you know, definitely, you know, things will work out. Of course, guys, this is just a hobby for me. Uh, you know, and I did the work. And YouTube decided to reward me by... You know monetizing my channel and guys uh, you would be surprised at what video <laughs> you know actually giving me all of this so if we look at the next slide guys you can see top earning content so guys um i'm just showing you the first five so you can see the video on top here the dark side of the 149 digital online business now guys this video is going into 25 toes views now and you can see um so far this month the last 28 days so far i've earned 15 pounds off it and this has to do with the dream team and their pyramid scheme so you can see all of these five videos are actually dream team videos so it's so funny that on this channel most of the views that i would be getting would be from you know videos having to do with them and their uh, questionable system so you can see this one giving me one pound fifty one pound thirty uh one pound thirteen ninety six pence so you can see these videos are you know for the dream team and uh 
you know, this is why I continue to do videos because this this is telling me that these are the videos that people are interested in the content. And, you know, even though I do other stuff on the channel, this is what, you know, these are the videos bringing in most of the, the engagement, the views. So let us move on. So guys, I uh, know we want to look at uh, Dream Team making refunds difficult. So someone watch this video. Again, this is a video that, you know, has the highest views on the channel. Uh, the dark side of a 149 digital online business. And this video was uh, uploaded in... 2022 and here someone is saying obviously i blocked the person's name from it so the person says i paid the 149 us dollars yesterday and although the, the the lady who recruited me into the business seemed very nice of course they would always be nice that's how they want to trap you so they would be nice pretending to be nice i did have my reservations because after watching the webinar i didn't know what the business was about that's quite obvious. It was just testimonials, <laughs> as usual. Anyway, I finally paid, and that's when it hit me. What exactly have I paid for? Because now they are talking about, I think this is um, a typo. I think probably she, she meant uh, 5,000 US dollars. Sorry, 5,000 pounds. Maybe she's in the UK. Um, I think she's talking about that 5,000 for the trifecta, no, for the single machine. Uh, so this could never be 50,000 pounds, even though nothing surprised me when it comes on to the dream team. But I think this is a typing error. Maybe she's talking about 5,000 US dollars. And I'm thinking if I have to take a loan, see what I'm saying, guys? Oh, if I have to take a loan out for that, I'd rather put that to my own online business, which I've actually started. So after doing more research and realizing I couldn't deceive people, I would like to request a refund. But I don't know how and there is no information. Now, of course, guys, this is not the first comment I got where people are saying that they don't know how to request a refund. Normally, when you are running an online business and you're saying that you are into affiliate marketing, you need to have uh, that contact information and it could also be on your checkout page where people can actually see how they can contact you or know how they can contact you if they have any problem, if they want to request a refund. Because, of course, you, you would be telling people that they can ask for refunds. So why are you making it difficult for them? I might think that these guys are deliberately hiding that information so that they could frustrate people so that people just forget and say, oh, I can't find it, so I'm not going to ask for a refund. A lot of people would send uh, the, the, you know, the contact information in your email, that email that they're going to send to you after you make purchase. So it, would, it should be in your email or they should have it on their site or on the checkout page where you can actually go there and you can see their refund policy. And you can just click on that link and they might be telling you to send them an email or there might be a telephone number. So they should make it easy for you to find it. Uh, but I'm not surprised and I would not be surprised if you don't have these two masterminds um, trying to make it difficult for you to ask for a refund. Because of course they know that a lot of people are going to ask. And when you can't find where to click to get that information then you might be, you know, just get frustrated and forget. But guys, please don't forget about it. Make sure you ask for your 149 back because that's what making these guys, that's what have made them nearly, probably even past 15 million so far, 15 million US dollars, that 149 that they are charging you. So don't think that, oh, you know, this is small. I can just lose this. Think of the, the, the thousands of people paying a uh, hundred and forty nine. So when you combine all of that, you can see how much money you would be throwing away to them. So don't give up on making your request once that uh, thirty days hasn't passed, and once you didn't make that call to the coach. And even if you did make the call to the coach, especially if you pay through PayPal, you don't even have to contact the Dream Team anymore. You can go straight to PayPal, explain to them why you need your money and paypal give you um gives um 180 days that's like what six months 
Uh, so you have all of six months you can ask for your money back. Just go to PayPal. But of course, you wouldn't want to leave it that long. But, uh, you know, if you pay through PayPal, then you can request your money back. If you pay through, um, if you use a credit card, uh, it's also possible that you can reach out to your credit card company and get your money back. Don't throw away money to this group, guys. Uh, because, you know, as I told you, 1%. You know, these are the people who are making money, the 1%. 99% of the people who enter MLM companies, they don't make any money. So let us move to the next clip. So guys, now we are here to, you know, the Energy Global Convention. They had this convention uh, last month. And it was actually in um, Las Vegas at a hotel called the Mirage Hotel. So let us quickly read this. So it says, Energy Host Action Pack. 49th anniversary global convention is in Las Vegas. Uh, so they are in business for what 49 years now. And they say from July 17 to 19, Energic welcome approximately 3,000 independent distributors and the top leaders from across the world to the Mirage Hotel in Las Vegas for their 49th anniversary global convention. The program included meetings, training sessions, presentations and a 6A2-3 and above recognition ceremony in the grand ballroom and surrounding rooms <laughs> named for Caribbean islands. This, this, I mean, this part makes me laugh because they say um, the program included meetings, training sessions, presentations, and a 6A2-3 and above recognition ceremony in the, ball, in the grand ballroom. And, you know, they, <laughs> they leave, they allocate the surrounding rooms um, for the Caribbean islands. Is that a disrespect or something like that? Anyway, <laughs> I hope you didn't have Jamaicans there. And, you know, uh, and they mentioned two names, like two Caribbean countries like Barbados and Bermuda. So they say Enagic also treated attendees to a raffle, a dramatic performance from, from what? Taku drummers. The, cha the chance the chance to dance to a high energy DJ set and traditional Okinawan songs from Enagic founder and CEO himself, Hironari Oshirio and family. Mr. Oshirio spoke at the VIP top producers dinner and delivered the event's inspiring closing speech, which motivated attendees who responded with a chorus of cheers and laughter. You know, sometimes, guys, I'm wondering if it's the church who is copying the LMM multi-level marketing companies or the multi-level marketing companies copying the church because this sounds like a church <laughs> to me. You know, uh, further down, you'll see what I'm talking about, guys. It says, at the dinner, Mr. Oshira prays 6A14-7 Cynthia Briganti, who's been one of the highest performing independent distributors in in company history for continuing to practice eight point business after achieving unprecedented success. Cynthia works as if she's still a 1A or 2A. She keeps doing direct sales <laughs> uh, as if they are really enforcing direct sales. Look at the dream team using sales funnels to, you know, to scam people. A lot of people forget how important that is when they rank up. Mr. Oshira says, if you don't do the eight-point program, it's like a bird that doesn't chirp. Mr. Oshira also stressed the importance of keeping balance, saying, when it comes to business, balance is important. When it comes to food, balance is important. When it comes to ukan and kangen water, those balances are important too. <laughs> this, this ties into our mission to achieve true health, which requires thriving in three areas, physical, financial, and mental health. He described his journey from a small island to sharing Kangen water with the world. Just in the U.S., approximately 600,000 households now drink Kangen water. Mr. Shira show appreciation, saying, Thanks to all of you. 
this is the number one water to drink in the world. <laughs> really. Mr. Shira will host the 50th anniversary global convention next year. So they're going to host it next year, uh, obviously in Japan. Uh, so guys, uh, here, you know, you know, they want to go global. And of course, you know, they, you know, they're targeting Caribbean countries now. So you notice, um, they made contact with Barbados and Bermuda. I'm not sure if it's really that active in these countries. I know uh, they also enter my country, which you're going to see later on. And, you know, they're not having, re they're really not having any success there. Because, I mean, Jamaican's not going to waste so much money. You're talking about nearly a million Jamaican dollars to buy a water machine. No. Uh, let us move on to the next section. So guys, uh, you can see the global convention and this was the scenery here and look at who I saw here now. You have the two masterminds of the Dream Team Pyramid Scheme. So you can see them 6A4-5, Mike Dreira and Darren Ewart were the final day one general session speakers. <laughs> now these are the two guys who claim that they are not pub public figures. Because, of course, they wanted to take down this channel. So they say, oh, um, they need the privacy. <laughs> Look at them on stage speaking to over 3,000 people. Then they claim that they are not public figures. Who you think you're fooling? You're not fooling me. Uh, because, obviously, they didn't want us to be talking about their questionable dodgy system. You know, so they claim to YouTube that they are private figures. But, of course, it didn't work for them. The channel is still up and running. So guys, uh, we are going to move on uh, to the next section of the video. And remember, uh, you know, the, in the final part of the video, I'll just talk about, you know, energy now, you know, creating music. You know, and you can listen to those music while you're trying to recruit people. Uh, they don't want you to listen to any other music, but the energetic music. Uh, sometimes I'm wondering if it's... If it's a church <laughs> or it's a business they're running so let us go to the next section of the video guys so you know i did some research because i really wanted to find out if energic had targeted my country and of course guys you know my country is jamaica and you know i came across this article and you know as you can see here the gleaner now this is one of the official papers in jamaica and you can see when it was dated here uh, Friday, January 13, 2012. That's like, what, 11 years ago? And it says, Japanese company seeks Jamaican partners. <laughs> Japanese-based energy corporation was in Jamaica on the weekend in search of distribution partners for its medical alkaline drinking water machine that retails for some US $4,000 in a bid to increase its global market share. The private company, which has offices in seven territories, started over three decades ago with its founder and president at 71, looking as young as he did when he first started consuming water, or consuming his water. President Hironari Oshiria told the group of 400 who turned up at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel on Sunday in Kingston to hear his pitch <laughs> that his company would avoid large retailers in a bid to focus on local community growth. Oh my gosh, that's where the deception started with him. Uh, he wanted to avoid large retailers <laughs> and he wanted to focus on local community growth. Let me just finish reading then I say what I have to say about this. We prefer selling small persons rather than large retailers because small sellers tell others, <laughs> said Oshirio. 300 machines are already in Jamaica, according to the company executives, including Oshirio and Jamaican slash US marketers Leroy Francis. Guy Leroy Francis, you better stay out of Jamaica. Leroy Francis and Joseph Reed. And he says, in Jamaica, US $3,000 is a quarter million dollars. And guys, that's just 3000 US dollars. And remember, this article was from uh, 2012. Now the exchange rate, one US dollar to um, one Jamaican dollar, uh, it's now 154 
Jamaican dollars to one US dollar. So can you imagine how much it is now? So if you are talking about uh, the, you know, that expensive water machine for four, nearly $5,000, you would be talking about uh, over 700000 Jamaican dollars. I mean, which stupid, I mean, which Jamaican would be so stupid to be paying almost, <laughs> almost a million dollars for, for a water machine? And it says in Jamaica, US $3,000 is a quarter million dollars. So we do not expect this machine to be <laughs> in everybody's house. You're really right about that, Gleena. What we want for you in Jamaica. No, no, it's actually they are the ones saying it. Because they're saying, um, we do not expect this machine to be in everybody's house. You're really right about that. You think this is the US? Or you think uh, you think it's the UK or Canada? Especially that Dream Team group where they're charging people over 10,000 US dollars for Trifecta. Why don't they try and go to Jamaica with that? I mean, that would be a whole lot of money that could buy a car for someone out there. He says, what we want for you in Jamaica is that everyone will have access to the water. All right. So you all come together as a family and get the machine. Said Francis, <laughs> this guy's pitching, this Leroy Francis guy. I wonder where he is today because it doesn't seem like this is going on in Jamaica. And further down, you'll see what I'm saying, guys. And it says, a uh, global sales leader at Enagic. Oh, stay away from Jamaica. Reed, who is also a global sales leader at Enagic, that's two of them, Joseph Reed, said he wants to set up an office in the medium term, dependent on the the uptake of business uh, and then it says Enagic which described itself as a market leader in the multi-billion dollar global water business manufactures alkaline ionizers and water filtration machines now guys to be honest uh, all along I've been doing videos on Enagic and the Dream Team and I didn't even think of it to really do some research to see if they wanted to you know launch um, they wanted to launch the wings in Jamaica and it seems like they actually did it, but it doesn't seem like it's really working. I'm going to show you in the next clip why I'm saying it doesn't seem like this is working in Jamaica. Because, I mean, of course, uh, Jamaica is close to maybe 3 million people now. And uh, look at what the Dream Team did in Butan with just under 800,000 people. I mean, Jamaica is bigger in terms of a population. Uh, and, of course... How many people in Jamaica would really spend so much money on these water machines? And this was from 2012, I'm sure, because I haven't heard much. I haven't heard people talking about Enagic in Jamaica or talking about alkaline water in Jamaica. I know you have a couple of Jamaicans in the Dream Team group. And I should have saved their website, to really, their one-page website to really see if they're still doing the business. Because I'm sure nothing is working for them. And guys, I could tell you that this, this business opportunity would not work in Jamaica. You would struggle to get somebody to spend so much money, Jamaican currency, to buy this water machine. I mean, people are drinking tap water. They are drinking water from the supermarket. Who would want to spend so much money to buy this, to just have it in their homes, unless they want to do the business? And who would buy, how would they recruit people to buy this kind of machine from them very expensive and if you're talking about the trifecta which is over ten thousand us dollars i mean which jamaican would spend ten thousand us dollars on this little water machine and they could even get cheaper machines which produce the same doing the same function as the energy water machine so energy you are not for caribbean countries and also guys i'm going to show you they also um, target like Bermuda and Barbados and maybe it's going on in those countries and Barbados but then I'm going to show you uh, I was doing some more research and then I went to you know the Facebook page um, that somebody created in Barbados and nothing really much is going on there so I don't think it's going to work well for them in the Caribbean so let us get to the next section of the video guys uh, welcome back so this facebook page is called kangen water jamaica and in the last section of the video guys i told you that that gleaner article was from uh 2012 
So as you can see here, someone created this page. They have 713 likes, 718 followers. And of course, you can see, if you look here, you can see when the last post was made, October 2016. That's like, what, going seven years ago? And I've, I haven't seen any, um, probably, yeah, this is like maybe the most recent one, 2017. It's March 23, 2017. So there's no more here. You don't have any in 2023, not even 2022. So you can see that um, this page, nothing much is going on with this page. And if you actually go here, you can see the website here for this page. And if I click on this page, of course, I don't think that I would get anything. And as you can see, guys, um, it's opening now. So when I click on it, you can see that the page is gone. So <laughs> of the person course. here is Something not wrong this here. Page. So that page is gone. Uh, so even if I go to the page uh, source here, page transparency, you can see when the page was created. That's in uh, the 21st of October 2016, Kangen Water, Jamaica. And of course, you can see that um, the page is not running ads. Of course, it wouldn't be running ads because they haven't been posting anything here, really. So this page is not running any ads. If I go into the ads library, then I can see um, that probably this page has never run uh, any Facebook ads. As you can see, no ads match in your search criteria. So this is telling me that this page is not active. And if I continue to scroll down a bit, you could see some of the posts that they had here. Typical Energic. And then I came across this post with this guy here. Um, I'm not going to play it, but I don't know if this was just um, some kind of promotion that he was doing. Uh, so it's obvious that I don't think a lot of people, I don't think people are doing this business. And according to them, they said they have uh, at the time 300 uh, water machines in Jamaica. No, probably this is one of them. Uh, so, uh, not many people really going to be joining any kind of queue for this kind of business, or even to say they are just going to be customers. Because I mean, this machine is even more expensive than than a refrigerator <laughs> or or a cooker in Jamaica. So why would people waste money? To buy such an expensive water machine an overpriced water machine and guys even if you look at this post you can see where they're making so much kind of health claims here they're saying that kangen water they're saying if you have any of these conditions please try kangen water so they are telling you that or giving the impression that kangen water can take care of poor digestion um, ulcer kidney stones uh, slow metabolism uh, so you see, uh, this is what the FTC in the United States would go after um, for people making all of these unsubstantiated claims that Kangen water is good for these kind of health um, issues, which is not the case. Uh, so you see, they are making a lot of health claims here, which they shouldn't be doing. Uh, so you can see that uh, this, this business is not going to work in Jamaica. So Energic... Targeting Jamaica is not going to be a good thing for you because, you know, they tried in 2012 and it doesn't seem like it's working. Uh, so they just have to go elsewhere with it. Uh, so in the next section of the video, guys, I'm going to look at um, Barbados to see if anything is going on with Kangen Water in Barbados. And earlier, as you can see, when I showed you that e-magazine, they mentioned Barbados and Bermuda saying that they... You know, they had spots there for them. I don't know if anybody was there. That's in Las, Las Vegas. Uh, so, this business is not really going to do well in the Caribbean and particularly in Jamaica. So, uh, good try, Energic. So, let's get to the next section of the video. Now, guys, welcome back. So, guys, this is another page I came across, um, another Facebook page. And as you can see here, they have their Kangen Water. This one is called Kangen Water Jamaica also. But then when I scroll down, as you can see, the number of likes here again. And you can see there a telephone number and you can see the website. Guys, I'm not going to click on this, but I did it earlier. If I click on this, you would see that there's no website. So, obviously, again, this person... Um, 
Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about this. Yeah, there's a website here, so let me click on it and show you. Uh, yeah, this one has a website, but I'm not sure if the business is active. So when I go here, this is what I would see here. And this site is called um, LMH, I don't know what that means. ML LMH Kangen Water, welcome to LMH Kangen Water. The better alkaline water. But then when I scroll, I scroll down, I'm saying drink alkaline water. We deliver freshly processed water every day. No, I'm thinking to myself, no, because... Of course, um, I'm not sure if uh, I don't think, well, I'm, I, I'm not going to say I don't think, but energy doesn't allow you to, you know, like, for example, you have a machine in your house or say, for instance, you buy, you know, a number of machines and you want to start a business and then you set up those machines in your kitchen producing Kangen water. Energy doesn't allow you to sell that water to, to people. So I'm not sure if that's what this site is doing. I'm just saying I'm not sure because uh, how would these guys, because they're actually using, they're actually labeling these um, water as Kangen water. Um, and I'm sure they're talking about, um, you know, Energic. Uh, so I'm not sure because even if you look at this, you can see that uh, all of these labels and all of that similar to Energic. So I'm not sure what is going on with this site, but I'm not sure if these guys are producing water from the machine, which would be against Energic's uh, policies and procedures, uh, because Energic specifically states that people should not be selling the water. So it says, LMH Kangen Water produces and distributes water <laughs> that enhances the health of its users. It is highly alkaline, and guys, I'm not going to read through this, uh, but of course I'm going to leave the link of everything I'm doing um, in this video in the description so you can check it out uh, and um, it says Kangen water process filtered water is passed over magnetically charged titanium plates in our ionizers to produce two streams of water so I'm not sure if they are using the machines to produce water here and of course they are selling it at this price I don't know if they are still doing it uh, but if it's actually the energy water machine they're using to produce this, that would actually be against Energic's policies and procedures. And I'm not saying that's what they're doing. I'm just saying if that's what they're doing. So I don't know much about what this site is doing here. Um, if I go to like their about page, uh, they are telling who they are. So you can see. So most likely they are using the energy water machine, which they are not supposed to use unless energy gave them permission, which I doubt that. And it says LMH water was started in 2012 using ionizers, see, sold by a Japanese company, which of course is energy they're talking. In Japan, these devices are used in hospitals to produce water that helps. I don't know why this guy is using this word here. Because, um... He would now be making some kind of claims that could get himself in trouble. Um, that helps in treating a variety of ailments such as high blood pressure, or uh, diabetes and cancer. All of these guys are really serious claims uh, which energy could distan distance themselves from. And a lot of times distributors get themselves in trouble for making these kind of claims with um, Federal Trade Commission. Uh, so I think these are some serious claims here. And because you are giving people the impression that, oh, you know, if I have diabetes or if I have high blood pressure or cancer, then drinking energy water would take care of this. Uh, and this is heavily, this is heavy marketing. Uh, you would have people who would want to buy the water if they don't know about this, just because you are saying stuff like this here. So it says the vision was to make these same benefits available to Jamaicans as they try to enhance their health. Guys, you see why research is important and I always tell you that knowledge, information is knowledge and the application of knowledge is power. So if you have done your research or if this person has done his or her research, then they would know that they shouldn't be making claims like this. And it says the business was registered with the company office. The business was registered with the company office of Jamaica, wow, the Bureau of Standards and the Ministry of Health to make sure that a high quality could be achieved and maintained. I'm wondering how, I don't know, because uh, it shouldn't be using like 
or this website, they shouldn't be using those machines to produce water to sell to people. The water is free. <laughs> it should be giving people free unless they get some special permission from Enagic. I don't know. But of course, this is against their policies and procedures for people to... Because, I mean, people who especially you don't want to go into the business, it would be so easy for you to start a business and start producing. And the reason why I think Enagic would not want that to happen because of course people would not want to buy their machines and you know it's a multi-level marketing company so you know they have to recruit people and it's the people who they are recruiting are really their products the people are buying those machines so you see uh i'm not sure what is happening here with this person i don't know if they're still doing it uh so but if that's what they're doing unless they get permission to do it but i would know that it's kind of like against energy policies and procedures and then even with the testimonials here you see some people saying some stuff that really would go against FTC um, talking about how even this person was saying that he or she was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called what dermato dermatom I can't even pronounce that word dermatomatosis horse you know I'm not even going to try and pronounce this it caused my immune system to attack my muscles and my skin during the worst of my illness. I was unable to get up, lift my head, or perform basic physical activities. And of course, if I continue to read after drinking, can't get water, then everything was okay. So these are serious, um, again, serious claims. Uh, so, but that's it with this site. So if I go back to the page, guys, you can see that... Um, it seems like the last post was February 2021, like two years ago. And I haven't seen any more posts. This one is December 2020. Uh, so you can see that this page is not really active. And then you didn't really get a lot of people liking the page or the information here. So I'm not sure that Energic is doing well in Jamaica. And of course, you can see that um, nobody's really making a lot of comments and all of that. So, it seems like people are not fully, fully educated on how this machine is to be used and what it can do. And <laughs> according to them, the financial benefits. I mean, guys, people don't have that kind of money to spend on these machines to say that they are going to do the business. And of course, that's what energy could want for people to do the business and to recruit Jamaicans. And, you know, you would really get yourself in debt like the Bhutanese with the Dream Team. So, guys, in the next section, I did tell you that we're going to move to Barbados and Bermuda. But then I remember that I have this one. So I'm doing this one. So the next one would be uh, Barbados. I want to see if they are doing the business. So just stay tuned. Now, guys, welcome back. Now, guys, as you can see, I'm now on... The Facebook page that was created for uh, Enagic in Barbados. And it says Hydrate Barbados, uh, Kangen Water. And again, you can see the number of likes similar to the page for Jamaica. And the followers are uh, almost the same. And of course, again, guys, when you scroll down the intro, you can see again, here's the website. And when I click on this website, guys, as you can see now, you can see that it's blank. So there's no website. So this website is gone. So I don't know these people, obviously. They probably stopped doing the business or it didn't work out for them. Again, if you look here, you can see November 2, 2016. You can see around the time when this page was created. And if I go to the page source, you can see page transparency. So you can see that this page was created around August 24, 2016. And of course, the person is not running any ads. You can see page is not currently running ads. <laughs> Obviously, they wouldn't be running any ads. So again, Energic probably got a blow there. Nothing much is going on. Uh -huh. I don't... Probably people are doing stuff like that in Barbados. I did some Google search, but I couldn't... I couldn't find any i'm going to continue to search but i couldn't find any um website or like page or anybody else doing it um dear even if it's going on there it's not as popular as how you would have it like in the philippines in the u.s in canada and those other countries 
And you know they're spreading their wings far and wide because even in Arabic countries, you know, they are deer and all of that. So <laughs> energy is making its rounds. Uh, but it's not going to work for every country because you have some countries where not everybody have electricity and you are, you're going to need electricity around those um, water machines. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not going to work for every country. Uh, and if I go to the About page here, obviously you can see contact information. Here is a website, which of course is not working. Uh, so there's not much really going on here. Uh, and if I continue to scroll down, you can see even probably she's an influencer trying to promote the energy product. And guys, as you can <laughs> hear earlier, you know, they're even getting Bob Marley involved in this. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that if Bob Marley was still alive, he wouldn't be a part of any energy promotion. So I don't know why they are touching um, celebrities and, you know, influencers to this whole energy thing. Just, um, you know, a marketing stunt. Uh, to make it look as if, you know, you have to be a part of energy. That's the only way you're going to have financial freedom. And it's only 1% of people who are really making money in energy. 99% of the people going into this thing, they lose money. You can imagine even Jamaica. You can imagine Jamaicans going into this and losing thousands upon thousands of Jamaican dollars on this. <laughs> so it's not going to work that much in the Caribbean, really. And you notice these pages were from all the way in 2012 and 2016. Uh, so, you know, it's not really going to... It's not really going to work um, well in the Caribbean countries. So, guys, uh, stay tuned to the next section where I will show you uh, Bermuda. It's actually the same thing like Barbados. Um, you know, not much activity going on there. So, just stay tuned to the next section. Yeah, so, guys, I have to laugh when I see this because... You know, this group in Barbados, uh, when they started their energy stuff, which I'm not sure... Uh, a lot of activities going on there with energy. Uh, they want to attach, you know, the late <laughs> legendary Bob Marley um, to energy. I'm sure if Bob Marley was alive today, he probably would not be in support of this multi level marketing company and Kangen Water and all of that. And you know that Rastas, they don't really, uh, the genuine ones, don't get themselves mixed up in, you know, any and everything. So he might not, probably he would not have been a part of this. So I don't know why these people think that they should attach this information about the magic to his name saying, uh, Bob Marley says, and I don't think he was the first person to say it, but he had this uh, phrase in a song, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but, yours, none but ourselves can free our minds. And so these people, you know, took the advantage of adding this to you know energy saying that oh this water is good for your health you know they make a lot of false claims which the ftc always coming down on them for those false claims uh that um the water is good for health and all of that and you know these distributors are told not to make these claims so you see they are attaching um bob marley to this and you know the gullible people would be thinking that you know the late legendary Bob Marley was would support this or even I mean the guy died so long ago many years now uh, when he was like what 32 or 36 uh, no I don't even think Bob Marley knew anything about energy now they are touching his name and his picture to it but then again guys you know that's energy uh, they will do anything these distributors will do anything to make a sale and you know to get a commission so let us move on to the next section of the video guys so guys when i try to find uh, my facebook page for bermuda i could not find one this is all i found uh, for them and as you can see this is like a shop it's called bermuda.desertcart.com and you can see buy energy kangen water products online in bermuda so maybe things are going on in bermuda uh, with these as you can see this is a level of k8 machine and you can see the price there um i think they use us dollars there i'm not so sure 
what you can see the price there are or beige and maybe this is even current Barbados currency they use. I'm not sure what currency they're using in Bermuda. Um, maybe this is their own currency. Uh, so why did I say Barbados? Um, Bermuda. Yeah, so maybe this is their currency. I'm not sure if it's the US dollars they use or what. But you can see the price there. So they are selling energy products. Uh, so they have a whole lot of products here. Um, not, I don't think all the products are related to Enagic, but you can actually see Enagic products here. Um, so maybe things are going on in Bermuda, <laughs> you never know. You have a handful of people probably there trying to um, get these products out. But guys, um, it's not easy with this, this kind of business model. It's not going to work well <laughs> in countries where, you know, it will be very expensive and of course you know like in those in uh, in caribbean countries not you know in, in not every home would really have electricity um like you know in first world countries and all of that and your homes might not even be appropriate to install these machines so how would it work there uh, so that's really what this is with bermuda um I couldn't find a Facebook page for them or even like a website which I could actually I could actually show you. So let us get to the next section of the video. Uh, yeah, so guys, as a bonus, Enagic Music. So it says delivering Okinawa's heart through music. So it says here Enagic has started producing music that fits your life. I think we should give this a big laugh. You know, that was a good laugh. So they are saying, no, we are planning to deliver music for 24 hours of life. <laughs> From the time you wake up in the morning to the time you relax when you fall asleep. If this is not brainwashing and, I mean, if this is not cult in nature, then I don't know what cult is. So you see, I, I remember I was going to a church where... Uh, I'm not going to say the name of the church, but the pastor, you know, they would have, uh, first of all, you couldn't sing any other gospel song in their church. You would have to sing the songs that members in the church write. And, you know, they would want, at one point, I remember when they were telling their members to, oh, just to cancel your account with Facebook, uh, because they started um, this social media platform similar to Facebook. Uh, then the platform crashed at some point when they just started it and they wanted all the members to cancel their you know their facebook account i didn't cancel mine because they, they couldn't tell me what to do anyway because I, I figured out that normally when when people are going to start when I, i'm really reading into people starting to want to control me and tell me what to do then i'm going to object to it and of course, I didn't cancel my Facebook account. A lot of members didn't cancel their account. Some of them maybe probably cancel and then go back and re reinstate it. And I'm sure a lot of them still using Facebook because I saw a lot of them on Facebook. Uh, so, But, you know, this is how, you know, you have cult leaders who want to control you and tell you what to listen to, when to eat, when to sleep. I remember one of these churches there if you're going on holidays, you would have to go and tell the pastor that you're going on holidays. And if within him him or herself would not be so sure if you should travel they would tell you oh don't go that time you can go this time they want to control you they want to know when you're coming back they want to know um how long you're going to stay just controlling the members mind control manipulation and it's the same thing happening in in the dream team and also in the magic see they, they're saying that they have music where people, you know, could listen to the music for 24 hours a day, <laughs> you know, from the time they they go to sleep to the time they wake up. And they say, also, we think it would be effective to listen to it <laughs> as casual background music during business negotiations. <laughs> so you can imagine, guys, when the Dream Team members trying to recruit you into their pyramid scheme, <laughs> they are listening to those energetic music in the background and they said this bgm i'm not sure what bgm is 
was carefully produced while imagining various scenes of the dealers. My God. And they say, we hope this music will enrich your daily life. I mean, these guys make me laugh. Energic sleep. Uh, and what is it? Energic sleep, uh, sunshine and ambient lullaby, something like that. So you can actually get their music on Spotify, Apple Music, <laughs> and so uh, these guys make me laugh. Uh, so now guys, you know that Energic has their own music. And of course, they're telling you that when you're trying to recruit, when you're trying to close a sale, you can be listening to the music in the background. These people make me laugh. But you know, guys, uh, Energic is not going to work in the Caribbean, especially, you know, in my country. Nobody's going to take out a million Jamaican dollars to buy a water machine, which is even more expensive than, than a refrigerator, more expensive than a cooker, more expensive than a, you know, in a three-piece sofa set. Why on earth would you want to buy, you know, a, a water machine for so much money? And if you are going to do the business as a Jamaican, who is going to buy those machines from you? How many people out there would have a million Jamaican dollars to spend on a machine? People are struggling. Why why are you why do you want to take your business to these countries? You know, trying to wreck the economy of these countries. Just like what the Dream Team members did in Butan. Uh, why would you want to go to Jamaica? Jamaica is not silly. So they're not going to invest in these kind of expensive machines. And I'm sure nothing worked there because, you know, it was like 11 or 12 years ago they went there. And I'm sure nothing is going on out there. So, you know, energy, take your flight and go pitch somewhere else. Because, you know, the Caribbean, you know, the Caribbean countries should really reject them coming in and want to ruin the economy with these expensive water machines people are still drinking the tap water people are still drinking water from the river people are still drinking water from supermarket kangen water whether or not you drink it you're still gonna die so what's the big issue about oh this is good for cancer this is just all false claims so guys uh, i hope you like the information that i've provided you with and just watch the rest of the video and thanks again for watching and catch you in another video.